it's that time again. It's that time. Hello everyone. It's that time again. Welcome to my live YouTube stream. My name is Danny C and let's get down to business for some GT World Series Nation Cup and practice lobby. Um, I hope everyone is all well, whatever you're on with. So let's get straight to it then. So um, what's happening is uh, I'm going to be throwing down some practice lobbies for the uh, GT World Series uh, um, Nations Cup that's uh, just around the uh, world corner. Um, obviously, we're going to be starting off uh, with uh, um, Le Mans in the GR2. So any like, GR2 category, like any GR2 car in particular that um, um, that is required. So um, yeah, that uh, will... Um, this is the first of uh, the six races of the GT World Series Nations Cup uh, for the qualifiers as well. Um, and this, of course, is the car that I'm going to be using as a paper that uh, the Toyota GT1 uh, TS120 is the one. Um, so, yeah, we'll just uh, go from there. So I'm going to turn the music off and uh, get straight to it. And then we open up uh, the lobby in any moment. So um, here's the details. And welcome along, TJ. Good to see you. And uh, I hope you're well. And I hope all is well from your end. Go and check out uh, TJC Gaming as he uh, he goes on to various games. You know, like GT7 and as an ACC and uh, and obviously um, that truck game that he does. He throws down like in multiple lobbies and. Uh, in various um, car categories and so and uh, and speaking of which that about he's uh, recently announced that about that he's uh, going to be doing the um, the Formula One World Championship kind of um, championship on the GT7 in the SF cars. So uh, obviously um, that's a well um, an indication like about for somebody in particular who is into that sort of stuff. If you like to go and check him out on uh, YouTube. Um, but yeah, that's it. So go and check out uh, TJC Gaming on YouTube. He's not far off uh, five uh, five thousand subscribers as well. Um, so yeah. Um, so what's happening is that uh, there's going to be uh, well, um, I'll be running down a couple of um, races about the practice races uh, for um, tomorrow's um, Nations Cup and uh, yeah. He's very keen uh, for sure, uh, TJ. Um, Obviously, I've uh, been speaking with him like about well earlier today, and then it says like, "Oh, have you heard about uh, the um, the um, the F1 World Championship TJ is running?" And it's said, "I will, or well, can confirm that uh, well, um, and just like that, uh, me and Shadow are going to be teammates of it in the um, in the Formula One World Championship in the McLaren livery. So it's, we'll figure something out, you know, with um, as to." You know, like uh, which livery, particular livery, because there are some of the teams, and uh, yeah, um, you're looking for a champion. Yeah, it's uh, for sure that uh, it's uh, there'll be like uh, some champion, hungry champions. I'm sure of that. So it depends who turns up on the occasion, also. Um, so other than that, that uh, will uh, um, it'll be a few weeks of it from when the uh, the first round will uh, be taking place which obviously uh, the first round uh, in a few weeks will uh, be taking place on the Sunday evening so there's just a case of uh, yeah um, so you've asked uh, captain as well yeah no problem good to like uh, give uh, those uh, heads up so captain obviously is the um, the boss of um, of, CC, uh, of CCR that is captain Colossus racing if you like to go and um, check him out on, uh, on YouTube um, and Instagram as well as Captain throws down the uh, GR3 lobbies, uh, the five lap sprint races as well. Um, so this is um, the settings of, uh, that I've got, if um, which is about as accurate as I can get it to. So it's a rolling start with uh, BLP on some options, uh, some settings, which obviously the um, the only thing you will be able to alter is the brake balance. Uh, mechanical damage is set to heavy, tire, tire wear is set to times 7, fuel consumption rate is uh, times 2, refueling speed is at 10. Um, so then we have 
obviously that it says like on the um on the qual- on the official um qualifying that took the seven minutes but the early issue is that is that as you could see um that's like uh, why they took out get it to seven because uh, that's uh, the all the kind of settings i allowed to uh, um that it allows me like to set um so this so it's a gr2 so any gr2 in particular for me like preferably like the toyota gt ones the car you can like still get the uh the gt1 um from the legendary uh, car dealership and it's uh 2.5 million credits um so uh what, da, da, da. new toyota gt1 for this race yeah i've um I've done a monster livery as you will have seen at the beginning of the stream, uh, TJ, and uh, for sure it's uh, um, it's going to be um, interesting to see like uh, where I place like and obviously done the qualifiers, so, well done like uh, the practice times. So we'll just uh, see which lobby I get put in uh, also. Um, so if there's anybody like him watching and in particular, then I'm going to be throwing down the uh, the practice uh, lobbies uh, in five, four. Three, two, one. Welcome along, uh, KZN in Hop House. Good to see you, and uh, I hope you're well. Very much appreciated. So, um, Hop House is uh, the boss of uh, KZN. If you like to go and check out, check them out on um, on YouTube. Um, there's a few that's uh, that's uh, YouTubers. You have Hop House, you have um, Dutch, and you have Lando Boris as well. Um, we'll see how many uh, show up on the um, as this is um, obviously the exact settings for drivers with the DR rated of um, A four slash A A plus. So we'll just uh, um, see how many um, show up also. And. Uh, Set the tires uh, to race in mediums. I started my streaming journey with 80 subscribers on the base um, PS4, aiming for the skies we streamed and it very much appreciated um, TG and obviously you got to start somewhere and when I first started uh, streaming um, way back in November 2022 it was the um, the Wyangums Championship, the multi um, car category championship that uh, which is how it all started really and um, um and for there on then just been like you know slowly but surely just building my own time was to get on with uh, the real life stuff over the just to keep um you know going and uh, and just uh, enjoy this as much as i as i can and uh, yeah so um but, and of course i uh, will stream every two days if possible your grossest dj so like the schedules like I've got for the rest of the this week is um, well, uh, this is uh, what I'm currently doing um, just to get some practice lobbies in uh, for the um, uh, the Nations Cup race uh, for tomorrow, and that of course uh, I'll be um, doing the uh, well, possibly this six o'clock. Or there's uh, there's three slots of in the UK time where you can um, choose from if you wish, if you get a chance. Where obviously you'll be. Um, there's a six o'clock, eight, eight o'clock, no, six o'clock, eight o'clock, and a ten o'clock um, slot. So uh, you could choose whichever like you can and, and do. 
and so I'll be probably like him. I will most likely going to be um, doing the uh, the six o'clock slot as well, which is the best I can do for sure. And then I could just get on with the rest of the evening, chilling for most of the time. But we'll see how that goes as well. Or race by race, if I get a result, then yeah. Um, so I've got somebody joining in, they're welcome along. Yeah, we've got Mark Mello. So, like, the this week's uh, schedules is that, um, uh, well, the practice lobby, then tomorrow is the, the, the official round of the Nations Cup uh, that will be taking place. And, um, and of course, uh, um, I'll just say hello to this fella as well. Um, and then th Thursday, I'll be um, returning to the British Touring Car Championship uh, uh, that is officially run by CCR Jimmy Codger. And just like to take this moment to congratulate uh, James H75, who um, also has gone and re recently gone into um, uh, recently gone into uh, um, reached a 100 uh, subscriber mark so congratulations to James H I give it if you are watching the stream and um, yeah watching the stream to uh, um, reach the the three figure mark um, and then Saturday too uh, I'll be doing the second round of the Nations Cup as well at Watkins Glen which will be in the um, uh, Honda um, classic Honda F1 car, so that'll be interesting one for sure. Um, you didn't see uh, Jimmy in the in the chat because um, he he was TJ was streaming from uh, earlier on, um, throwing down some GT3 lobbies also. Um, so just like. For a few more people. Waiting for a few more to join. Feel free to pra to practice before quality. No problem there, TJ. Thank you for stopping by and um, taking a moment. And um, all the best to, uh, for next time as well. And I shall see you very soon. So TJ is your guy to go and um, to check out as well on YouTube. So that just gives um, Mark uh, like the chance, you know, to get some laps uh, under the belt for quali before quali. If we get a few more people in.
Good evening, Shadow. Welcome along, and nice to see you. I hope you're well out there, and I hope all is well from your end. Very much appreciated. Good evening, Indian Stick. Welcome along, my brother. I hope you are well, and I hope all is well from your end. So go and check out Indian Stick Racing on YouTube as he throws down the um, uh, the lobbies such as various categories uh, like the GR2, GR3, GR4, or whatever card category this game has to offer. Um, he fro also throws down two of the um, GT World Series practice lobbies, um, as well as the Nations Cup, uh, Manufacturers Cup, um, and of course uh, he uh, does the mystery daily races, um, you know, whatever car category and lap count it may be. And last but not least, uh, he publishes those daily race uh, videos um, um, nearly every day as well. Ice Taylor! Good evening, long time no see, and I hope you're well, and I hope all is well from from your end as well. Anytime, um, Indian Stig. And just a little something too, um, Indian Stig's not far off the 500 subscriber mark, so for those of us who are tuning in, I'd like to um, go and check him out. So uh, only a few, a few uh, digits away, and um, very nice to see you as well. And um, Ice Taylor Gaming, like uh, he, um, go and check him out. Uh, also, uh, as he um, goes, does the uh, the daily ra daily races on when Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, or and whatever up to some point over the weekend um, that he does them too. And he also throws down the um, the lobbies when he can, depending on the time and then the schedules he's got. So other than that, that uh, will. And he recently uh, reached the um, um, the 1,000 subscriber mark. So congratulations to Ice Taylor for reaching that benchmark. So um, yeah, go and check uh, Ice Taylor out like on YouTube also. So if you're just tuning in, we're waiting for. So we're just waiting for a few more people like to join in. Unless a bit, if this fella is ready, um, then yeah, that's. Uh, thought you'd be breaking into Craig David then <laughs> so yeah for sure that uh, we'll obviously um, been like doing some like league racing and so on um, in case of it you've been wondering and uh, yeah that's about all as well from my end um, get to the on with, with the real life stuff and investing in myself put it this way um, but yeah So anyone, anybody in the chat's welcome to join if they're free. Not a problem if they're in the middle of something, whatever you're doing. For competitive racing, yes, um, I assume. Um, obviously, like, uh, well, as you were like uh, seen on the previous streams, that I've been on the wheel um, for when I'm not doing any serious racing. Um, as I feel ultra competitive um, on the um, on the pad when when it comes to doing some serious racing so when I'm not doing any serious racing especially when I throw down some lobbies um, and if I got the energy I get the Logitech G923 out and of course I'm just to have a bash of it um, I throw down like a, a, any category in particular like the GT3s, GT4s um, anything particular really Yeah, definitely, and uh, so um, may as well just like still get in there, you know, in terms of, like you know just getting faster, and faster, as well as like a bit of um, um, that. Good evening, Marty. Welcome along. I hope you're well, and I hope all is well from your end also.
And in case if anybody does uh, join uh, later on, then no problem there. Uh, yes, this fellow is ready, so i um, got to put the message out. Started soon, and if there's some more people wanting to join in, I'll manually set the grid. Um, so this fella is ready. So qualifying will begin in five, four, three, two, one. No problem, Marty. And um, thank you for stopping by. And all the best as well. If that's what you are doing. So yeah, that uh, well, that's a yeah, uh, the best I can uh, do, you know, just to get a bit more time. Seeing as though this uh, fellow is ready to, um, um, ready like to, to get some um, miles and uh, a lap time in, and so um, obviously, whereas um, for the um, actual lobby itself, like for the um, qualifiers, then obviously uh, um, seven minutes is what they put in. But the issue, like with the lobby settings itself, is that the uh, you can you can only set it between five set it to 5 or 10 I don't blame you Marty gotta keep grafting for sure as we all do So yeah, like I said, that uh, anybody that uh, that jumps in into the middle of the qualifying and uh, obviously no problem like him setting the uh, the grid, well obviously um, because there's two of us, uh, so I have no problem that you know just starting as we are. Then it's a uh, um, a ten lap race, and you can change the uh, the, the tires if you wish. Um, so yeah, GT engine showing nine for weather. Yeah, no, fair do is a shadow. Um, Stranger Things. I've not seen that take actually. Um, can't remember what's the last time I watched it on Netflix, um, but I'll give that take uh, um, add uh, onto me a list. DT engine showing S9 for weather. Loving the engine sound uh, of the V8 turbo engine of the Toyota. And the way you downshift it, you feel the, um, you can hear the, uh, the flames and the exhaust pipe spitting out. Neither have I, Shadow. Um, I'm yet to get to some uh, practice on the border for the um, um, 
the British Touring Car Championship that's officially run by um, Jimmy Codger. Obviously, I've been uh, com um, committed to me uh, over series uh, last time out uh, when I was um, concentrating on the um, the Lamborghini GT3 race um, that's officially run by CC Sim. So when I did that uh, race in Autopolis, I started the uh, first on pole position and finished first. So that got me my second race win, having got to three second places in a row. So consistency has been my friend um, for sure. Um, but yeah, third gear, 145 mile an hour, fourth gear, 188 80 mile an hour. Copy Stig. Welcome along, Hado. Nice to see you and uh, I hope you're well. I hope all is well from your end as well. Hundred forty five and then hundred eighty mile an hour on fourth. You've downloaded I race in the Hado. Fair dues, it's um it's totally different um I racing um that I'm sure of that. I've not even like him about touched the iris, but I did see like it well lately the, oh, the lately um the um added the uh, the rain content so very different to experience uh, to driving in the dry that's for sure No problem, uh, Ice Taylor. Thank you very much and um, for stopping by. All the best. So go and check out Ice Taylor Gaming on YouTube as he does the uh, the daily races and obviously throws down the lobbies afterwards when he can. And yeah. I don't know how you manage all these events that you do, Danny, sometimes. Fair play to you, but honestly. Very much appreciated. Um, shadow because it's just it takes a lot like about to get yourself out of your comfort zone and then and just do the talking on the track and that's for sure Got a bit wide there. Will I get a penalty for track limits? Not my best lap, but this time I'll make it count. My friend says it's a costly game, but it's a great structure. They're talking about the um, um, the eye racing. That is.
Best way to be your head off. Keep getting better, keep get, getting at it on iRacing, and I'm sure you'll get there. So that's qualifying over done with. So that got me um, a 37.5. So, um, so there's just the two of us, which obviously uh, um, will give me the chance to, uh, you know, to get like the information, like with how the tyres are going to behave and so. Um, so there's myself uh, on uh, pole position, and there's Mark also, um, two like about lining up the front row. Um, so like. One's better than nothing for sure. So I'm going to put the message out. Have a good race. Good luck. Thank you, Gigi. And I'll put starting soon as we're about to begin a practice race, unless there's some that to me that's just joining in. And obviously I will be uh, doing an end of a practice race uh, depending on uh, who shows up on the occasion. So I'm going to throw down the uh, the practice race in five, in four, in three, two, one. Yeah, for sure, Hado, time can be your friend or your enemy. And we're underway at Le Mans for the practice. Good luck to Mark. No problem there, uh, Indian Steak. Thank you for tuning in, stopping by, and uh, I'll catch you soon. And all the best uh, for tomorrow's race as well. And um, yeah, 
Indian Stig's your guy man, for those of who like to go and check him out on YouTube. Marker still with me as well. Got Nudson there that's uh, joining in. Nice one. So I've got uh, Nudson who's uh, ready um, uh, for another race. So I will be doing another race um, um, if anybody's just, just tuning in um, and it's free if they're not doing anything in particular. A little bit deep on that curve.
so looking to pit to at the end of this lap or the next lap So we've got Orin jo joining the room, so if he's, um, um, this lobby is for um, a, an A plus uh, driver rated only, in case of a, you haven't, in case like, uh, this is, um, in case you're wondering what this lobby is about. So I may as well just come into the pit at the end of this lap, just to get some new tyres on. Feels looking like uh, it's not an issue. Welcome along, Orin. Nice to see you, and uh, I hope you're well. I hope all is well from your end. And if you're just uh, tuning in, uh, this is a, uh, a driver rating A and A plus um, um, lobby only, in case you didn't know. Um, this is for the GT World Series uh, Nations Cup, uh, and it's the exact lobby settings, um, um, you know, for. Uh, the first round of, of the GT World Series Nations Cup at uh, Le Mans in the GR2 uh, class.
And obviously, this is the uh, the exact uh, lobby set. This is the exact so accurate uh, settings uh, for um, for those to be that have the DR rank, uh, ranking of uh, A and A plus. Um, you'll be put into the GT one. Then. No problem, um, or in no problem at all. At least you know now, and I'm sure one day you'll be able to get to the um, and get to the mountain. No problem to nuts in as well. Nudson's uh, warming up uh, before the next one. Got somebody joining the lobby. Was well, gonna like it. Uh, we'll tell him that uh, that I'll be uh, um, fried down uh, another race um, if they're free in particular. So about to come in at the end of this lap, just to change tyres. So I've got another set of uh, new tyres on. No refueling as well. No problem Shadow. And uh, all the best to you as well uh, on the British Touring Car Championship round that is coming up on uh, the Thursday evening. And I'll be streaming on that one too from my perspective. Thank you for stopping by and uh, watching a bit of entertainment and very much appreciated appreciated as always so all the best to you shadow and i'll catch you on the next one so um feels not an issue were to me also as all i had to do from there is just to um short shift a little bit if necessary lifting course if needs be So and the next time I'll be streaming too is uh, I'll be uh, looking to stream before six o'clock um, UK time um, for the uh, the first round of the GT World Series Nations Cup at Le Mans in the GR2 class. So it's particularly um, a Toyota GT1 fest for sure as uh, my preferable um, my preferable option. No problem with Shadow. No problem at all. More than welcome any time.
so I've got uh, Marco coming in there for some new tyres possibly like feels not feels not a problem as well so this is uh, for the undercut as well
194 mile an hour down the uh, the long straight in the Toyota GT1. This car is a beast in this category. So we've got three laps to go. Alex Dees, welcome along brother, I hope you're well, I hope all is well from your end, getting some practice uh, in for the uh, GT World Series Nations Cup round at Le Mans in the GR2, which on paper this this car, the Toyota GT1, looks to be the, uh, the favourable one, so um, I will be doing um, another practice race um, if you are free to join. Yeah, definitely. So, um, 
tomorrow's slots are to be, there's a 6 p.m. slot, uh, 8 p.m. slot, and uh, 10 p.m. slot as well. I will be doing a, another practice race um, after this um, um, after this uh, first round of lots. So you are welcome to um, to go and get some practice in if you wish. More than welcome to if you're free. Who knows? It uh, will. We might meet up in the um, in the a fixed lobby, depending what uh, qualification practice time we put in. So, um, but yeah, that's just so. I'll throw, I'll throw this uh, lobby, the practice race lobby, and uh, just to get the information with the uh, the tire and fuel consumption rate um, side of things. And fuel is not an issue. Obviously, you're just gonna have to like uh, manage it without your having to fiddle with the uh, the engine map settings and obviously just the uh, well how you want to rev it and no problem um, obviously uh, it's just a, a maybe like a well possibly like I would do another practice uh, lobby um, at some point uh, tomorrow but I'm not too sure um, but if not I will be like, I will get me some ready like for what's more likely going to be a, a 6 p.m. slot as well. Um, and I'll be streaming there too, from my perspective. So I pitted him um, um, on lap four for the undercut. So I've been setting the, the brake balancer to two to the rear for this whole time. Obviously, we had some people coming and going, and then so uh, likewise, it's a bit. I'll be uh, throwing down in another race, so it's not a problem that uh, that um, if you can't make it, so not a problem at all. So that way, that um, we had Markaba who pitted a lap later than me on lap five, and then there was a six second second gap between myself and uh, and Mark. Didn't uh, refuel as well, so that's the uh, the key things that, uh, that way it's good to know. I'm sure that another thing also is it's just depending who you're ra racing against, and uh, you just want to keep your nose clean also. A little bit wide there on the second chicane of the Mulsan straight. Managed to get away with uh, without getting a, a track limit penalty. So we're just about to go into the last lap of the motor race and then I'll be throwing down another practice lobby race uh, for anybody that's just tuning in later on in the day and uh, wishes uh, to get some um, 
and get some time on the belt to ready for the first round of the Nations Cup. This car is so wicked to drive. The iconic Toyota GT1 TS020. The car that's been on nearly every single Gran Turismo game and has uh, been a, a car to be reckoned with, an icon to be reckoned with. Screaming that V8 turbo engine out. And as soon as you hear the engines, uh, engine notes go down, through the gears any moment now you can hear the flames spitted out of the exhaust pipes as the gears go down Heavy braking. <laughs> Pretty talky out of the slow corners. Got, yep, joining the room. Welcome along if you're just tuning in. I will be, I throw down another practice lobby race of a, if, um, if you're sticking around for, uh, for this uh, upcoming Nations Cup round, which is happening tomorrow. So oh, that's given me um, plenty enough information, information to start off with and uh, for those who are just uh, dropping into my lobby that's yet to get some practice under the belt, more than welcome to, no problem getting uh, another practice racing as well. Save the replay if you wish.
So GG's there to Mark um, for participating in that one. Having got some um, miles on the belt uh, for the for that one too. Okay, no problem. So he's left the room also. So let's go on board with uh, Yep, who is currently out in the uh, the monster Toyota GT1. Whilst we're waiting for a few more people to join, and uh, the more are welcome. So I'm just going to quickly go down to the toilet. Be right back. And I'm back. Obviously, there's some um, Champions League of football uh, going off, um, as far as I'm aware. Um, but yeah, they're too. So, um, quality in five mins. Check if I'm on, I'm on the right tyres, which I am. got Richard Pugh uh, joining the room welcome along um, and if you are listening to the stream uh, Richard, P Richard there's um, this is a um, an A and A plus um, driver rating um, lobby only in case you are watching um, nothing personal but this is the exact settings for those of that are 
rated the A and A plus um, f- that puts them puts them into the GT one category. Yeah, in case, uh, just in case if Richard's, uh, in just in case he, he doesn't know, this is um, obviously the settings uh, for the um, practice lobby also, um, for the GT1. Obviously we had this uh, marker from Spain who is obviously, um, he's watching, no problem. Fair dues. So if you're tuned into the, if you're just tuning in, uh, Richard, welcome along, and I hope all is well uh, from your end as well. And um, yeah, welcome spectators, just to get an insight if they ever want to um, go up the rankings uh, with the uh, the driver rating, which you can do that uh, through um, daily races, um, uh, the GT World Series um, cups such as the Nations Cup and the Manufacturers Cup. So um, obviously, as soon as uh, the uh, the Nations Cup uh, campaign finishes, which is, I believe, at the end of this month of April, um, not by long till at some point in the beginning of the May, where the Manufacturers Cup uh, qualifiers will uh, be taking place as well. So uh, that, of course, uh, for sure, uh, will be um, will be a test uh, to see uh, how it. Um, how it's going to pan out, see where everyone is at. And um, I'm looking forward to the challenges up ahead for sure. So we've got Yapaba behind, who I believe is uh, on the flying lap as well. So I'll come out of this uh, for a moment and, uh, and spectate on Yep as he's got a one second penalty for uh, track limits so obviously um, he's pushing the car to its extreme limits and so um, obviously um, the GT1 is to be like the, mo- uh, the favorite ca- favorable car based on the uh, um, performance side of things and so um, obviously um, the CLK maybe like a will 
Um, okay. But they, you can only get them from the legendary um, car dealership, which does appear every now and then. Um, the BMW McLaren F1 GTR um, 1997 race car that of course it's uh, it's okay uh, but not quite like I've got the uh, the top end speed is yeah, pushing the car to its extreme luckily saving it somehow um, so yeah um, so I'm just going to put the message out um, to say ready Oh, it's just uh, watching, no problem. I oh, like just left the room, no problem. So, good luck on the qualification as I'm going to throw down the, um, the quality in five, four, three, two, one. So, good luck uh, to Yep, who too is um, um, getting some practice in, like him, for the uh, qualifiers of the Nations Cup round. And yeah, that's it. Uh, we've got. Um, if there's anybody like it uh, that's joining in, like it, uh, then through the qualifying, then they're more than welcome to go in there and start as well if they wish to. So obviously, uh, yep, sir. Obviously, um, the one who's going to give me a challenge for sure and give me a run for the money.
just very much on the edge of, of that curb and somehow got away with uh, not having to receive a penalty for track limits Bloody hell. Not what you want to be doing, but uh, I'll uh, come out of this one and, uh, and spectate Yepema on the uh, uh, on his final attempt. Is he's um, going over the curves there. Will he get a um, time, temp, time penalty for track limits? Yes, he does with a half second um, time penalty to for breaching the track limits um, over the right-hander. Even though the Timmy, he's just uh, got 22 hundreds of a second off uh, of his personal best. Down into far third second. Just to get a bit of rotation, like uh, on the first chicane of the Mulsan straight. Flick it up to third. And up to fourth. Hitting the hitting the rev limiter there too. You can like a in third when you're in third gear, get it to um, 145 and obviously uh, fifth gear. Um, yep. So like 140, you can get it to like a 145 mile an hour when you flick it up to fourth, and 118 mile an hour. Um, more like which obviously yeah, 180 mile an hour when you like a hit turf when you over revving at that to get it to fifth. So yeah, it's just uh, you, flicking it to um, well a little uh, up to the rev limiters uh, as they go along. Obviously, when you do some uh, over revving them um, as well, then it could drink the fuel up uh, just a little more. So then you just got to manage it without having to fiddle around with the um, edge of map set settings or um, or uh, refueling them, um, as you don't need to refuel um, on the race itself, as I've demonstrated as well. So just a bit of lifting and coasting, if needs be, or even um, measure your. Um, uh, the amount of revs that you put it in through the gears especially up into fourth and in fifth on the long straights yeah going through the Porsche curse as well having served his uh, half second penalty for track limits he too is uh, obviously set in his personal best so he looks like he's uh, he's got another five 
one second ahead in him to get it into the 37s. Through the chicane for one last time of the qualification. Yep, two as well as post put in a, uh, a 138.4, having served his uh, half second penalty. So, um, that of course, we wait for the uh, well, time to go down gradually. And smash that like button already in the if you're liking the content and new viewers if you are new to the channel feel free to subscribe so all we've got left we've got 30 seconds until the uh, continuation time comes to an end A good luck uh, to you as well, yep. And uh, so any moment now. Here's the results uh, as well. So I've got myself like about on uh, pole position with a one foot is set, set with a one foot, sorry, um, with a three minutes and 37.1. And then we've got Yepo two who's on a uh, three minute and 38.4. So, uh, Obviously, yeah, a few, a few more turns uh, in him. I'm sure of that. Um, so on that note, I'm going to be throwing down a, a um, another practice race in five, four, three, two, one, and good luck to Yep, who is uh, the only one competing as well for the uh, manufacturer, no, not manufacturers, uh, the Nations Cup race in the GR2s. So let's get down to business. Shall we? So I've got yet yeah, uh, catching up about on the slipstream. Heavy braking onto the first chicane at the Mulsanne.
Uh, yep, he's going to take the lead as well, going into this second chicane of the Mulsan. Nearly lost it somehow, kept it together. Yep's gone a bit deep there. Wheel to wheel between myself and Yep. Just able to stretch my legs even more. Hitting 145 mile an hour, flicking it up to fourth, then up to fifth at 180 mile an hour. This is a brilliant wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. Just able to stretch my legs even further on the revs. Yep, just got a bit too deep there. Going over the curves. Once you keep um, over revving the uh, the car while hitting the 145 mile an hour, flicking it up to the fourth, I should say, then fifth uh, gear like at 180 mile an hour, and obviously you can notice the there that to the fuel is just going down just a little bit bit more.
Looks like Yep is catching up um, bit by bit. A little bit uh, over the uh, over the curb, which resulted be a half second penalty for track limits. Not a problem, too. I can make it up. And to add to that, another half second penalty uh, for track limits also through the chicane. Oh dear, but not a big deal because it's practice.
there's Yep. Oh, look, thought for a second he was going to be um, on the move, but he too uh, has a half second penalty for track limits as well. So we also too um, may as well go for another lap and then change tyres. Possibly I could top up some fuel, having uh, experimented the uh, the no fuel um, um, refuel on that strategy. While well, I pitted in lap four, used the attributions, you know, to get a bit of lifting and coasting as well in some places. So Yep is slowly catching up on me as well. Yep, looks like he's going to get the move done if he can. Late breaking, nope. He thought about it, but he bailed out of it. And he's thinking about the next compl complexion of corners. Onto the end of the Mulsanne Strait, having exited uh, the second chicane of the Mulsanne Strait. Yeah, it's an endurance as well there, uh, Hado, for sure. He's looking to make a move. Nope, I thought about it, bailed out of it. Yep, staying nice, nice and patient. Oh, I went a bit deep there, but yep, he's able to capitalize on that one too. Had to flick it up to second just to add a little bit of throttle to allow the turbo to kick in. Staying alive and not spinning is another thing um, to add to this motor, as uh, Hado said. Yep, looks like but he may get into some bother with uh, track limits. But the question is, is he going to pit for the pit for some new tyres? No is the answer. I'm coming in. So he must do or do whatever he doesn't do. I pit, he stays out.
about a second of her to top up nearly a lead a lap's worth of fuel. So I don't know what strategy uh, Yep is on, where if he's going to stay out to the end or is he going to manage like a wall um, to do the um, overcut to, if possible. So we're about to find out in this experiment. Yeah, definitely here. You know, um, just a fresh, fresh, uh, fresh road ahead, a clear road ahead. And uh, with no one around, just yet, I've got to think about also. So yet with the fastest lap of the um, 337.9, should slow it. 337.9 is uh, the fastest lap currently uh, set by Yep. Yep, copy. Three seconds gained. And yep, pitting there for some new tyres. Yep. We will see indeed for sure. So I performed the undercut to having um, gained three seconds, as Hader was pointing out. But he'll be on the much fresher tyres about having pitted a lap later also. Not sure on the fuel, but the fuel looks okay in terms of the percentage. Even though I had to top mine just a little bit by over revving it. Mostly in, up to fourth and fifth. Oh, I touched the grass, which didn't help me um, get the ability uh, to change the corner together. Headed down into Molsan Strait.
I am on the pad at the minute to Hado. Just uh, for the competitive racing. So fuel is looking good as well to get me through to the next three laps of the motor race having put a little bit of fuel in uh, for good measure having um, gone a bit over the revs uh, up to fourth and fifth most of the time Ah, I've got a bit corner greedy there onto the uh, right hander. Still am, yeah, and obviously uh, when I'm not even doing any serious racing there, uh, Hado, um, I um, I have a bash about on the wheel. Just to continuously, I can just get faster and faster as we all do. Um, currently using the Logitech uh, G923 mounted along with the player seat uh, challenge um, uh, rig, in case you are wondering also. Um, yeah, so that of course for sure it's uh, giving me like uh, um, something I can you know to play with for sure. So Yep is uh, catching up like a word too. So he'll be able to capitalize unless he made a mistake somewhere. Nope, doesn't look like he's uh, exceeded the track limits. And then there's me who exceeded the track limits also. Get in there, get in there with the wheel. It's adapting from controller to the wheel is another thing. Um, getting faster as quick as you can, which is another thing to adapt to also. Whatever machinery you get into, whether it's the GR3s or the GR4s or any um, car category in particular of this game. Yep is about to capitalize on the uh, misfield fortune I had. He may like a bit get done for track limits as well, but bearing in mind that to be, he has got one lap younger younger tyres than me. Oof. Little kick in the um in the backside over the curbs. But we keep going. With two laps to go. 2.6 of our work, laps worth of fuel. I racing be like a too much of damage box box box.
got Magic Mike and in the room. If you're just tuning in, uh, this is the uh, the last practice race, uh, which is uh, all I have time for, unfortunately. But I will be live uh, for tomorrow for the um, um, Nations Cup uh, race uh, um, before six o'clock. Oh, we've got another person joining too. Welcome along. When I get on GT7 after I racing or ACC, it feels like I'm a, a need for speed game. Yeah, it's adapted like a, you know to the physics of, of each game from one to another, which is another thing also. Uh, there's another penalty coming my way for going a bit too fast in the first part of the chicane, I would imagine. Yeah. Tire pressure, heat fuel, enough for you to get headache. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Yeah, the track limits uh, do us give you a headache sometimes also, but it is what it is. Obviously, what's important for me is that uh, I've uh, given a couple of people uh, some time, you know, to and some valuable information out of the practice lobbies, which is all I'm bothered about. And, uh, and I feel I don't rate to, uh, you know, to, to do that. Whereas uh, from my end as well, also, uh, Good preparation to get myself ready for how um, um, tomorrow's um, GT World Series Nations Cup race is going to pan out. So, but yeah. Yeah, in terms of practice ahead, though, the uh, this is obviously uh, an A an A plus um, um, ranking um, lobby, and that's the only issue with uh, you know with GT Seven like is that they don't have a particular setting when running a lobby where you can set the DR and SR. So obviously the only way to um, to sort this is just to manually uh, put on your title. Um, um, lobby title uh, A and A plus only. So then, if you come across some like drivers that are like, B rank or even lower, then obviously you just like well have no choice but please yourself to you know to kick him. Unless if they are expecting, expectating that you know just to watch about what people are doing. Obviously, fair enough. But if there's others that uh, that wanted to practice for obvious reasons. Then yeah. Yeah, practice makes her perfect. That's for sure, here though. Um, but it's getting the uh, the time in the investment team there. Uh, well, in terms of the time and energy and 
Yeah, to ensure that you um, have enough practice and, uh, with uh, enough information on board with um, the qualifying trim as well as the race. So, um, So yep, yeah, taking the win on the Exclamation Ball Zone Been a long day, I'll have to admit. So yep, yeah, gets the win, well done buddy. Thank you, uh, GG. So, I right, thanks for joining. See, this was the uh, the last race, and uh, which is all I have time for, really, before I um, before I go to bed. <laughs> See you next time and and peace and obviously uh, and that of course was um, the last eraser uh, which is all I've time for best of luck here to you uh, on the interview for tomorrow and I hope it all goes well and I'll catch you next time as well um, so I'll quit the lobby so apologies about uh, somebody who's uh, joining uh, that's just uh, joining later on Thank you for stopping by, tuning in, and I wish you all the best as well. So I'm going to open the uh, the daily ticket and draw close to the stream. A three-star roulette ticket. Lovely. What will I win? Nah. 5k. Fair dues. And then we draw close to the stream. Thank you uh, for all for tuning in, stopping by, saying hello, and uh, showing some support to, as, uh, as you do. And obviously uh, that was uh, my practice um, lobby um, for, um, for this evening in preparation for the GT World Series and uh, Nations Cup um, for the qualifiers. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, well, a couple of people are joined and uh, thank you uh, for your time as well. Very much appreciated as well. And, and of course, uh, I've been able to get the, uh, the information, you know, with, um, you know, just the little things, you know, like the brake balance and the, the fuel time, fuel strategies and so. Um, but other than that, that to me, it's been, um, it's been like uh, well pretty productive from my end also and if you're liking the content hit the like button and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and on that note i'm going to cut short so thank you all for watching and i'll catch you tomorrow where i'll be doing a 6 p.m slot to something like that and for the nation's cup around at le mans in the gr2 predominantly going to be um, a GT1 and Toyota GT1 uh, festival unless somebody's brave enough uh, to go and um, choose a white and choose a different car also and on that note I'll catch you all on the next one when I return to the next episode 
Take care. Peace. Thank you. And bye-bye. Ciao.